Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. In this session, we are going to solve a problem about deformation. The question is the specimen shown in figure below made from steel, brass, and aluminium rods fixed at end of A. Axial loads are applied at cross section B, C, and D. Given the allowable normal stresses are 130 megapascal in the steel, 80 megapascal in the brass, and 90 megapascal in the aluminium. Knowing that the modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal for steel, 110 gigapascal for brass, and 70 gigapascal for aluminium. Determine the diameters required for each of the section. Determine the displacement of the CB and determine the displacement of the D respect to A. Here we have allowable normal stress given in the question which are sigma steel equals to sigma CD equals to 100 and 30 megapascal and then we have sigma brass equal to sigma bc equals to 80 megapascal and also we have sigma aluminium equals to sigma ab equals to 90 megapascal. We are also given modulus of elasticity which are 200 gigapascal for steel. So E steel equal to E C D equals to 200 gigapascal and then E brass equals to E BC equals to 110 gigapascal and then E aluminium equals to EAB equals to 70 gigapascal here also we have length of every section which are LAB equals to 1 meter and then LBC equals to 1.5 meter and LCD equals to 1.25 meters. Also, we have axial loads acting at point B, point C and point D. This axial load are known as the external load. The first question asks us to find a diameter for every section. So diameter come from the area, which area equals to pi d square over 4. And the area come from the allowable normal stress, sigma, which is sigma equals to P over A. Allowable normal stress is given in the question and then P is the internal load where we find through free body diagram. To find the internal load in each section, we have to draw free body diagram for each section. It starts from the end of the roads. So, we have to start from section CD. Section CD. So, we draw a free body diagram of section CD. We put the external load acting at point D, which is 2 kN. And we assume the internal load at the cutting point always in tension and we put as PCD 
Next, we apply static equilibrium summation of fx equals to zero. Negative PCD plus 2 kN equals to zero. And PCD equals to 2 kN. The positive value of PCD represents PCD is in tension. Next for section BC, we draw a free body diagram of sections BC. We put the external load at point D is 2 kN. The external load at point C is 4 kN. And we assume the internal load always in tension and denoted as PBC. Then we apply static equilibrium summation of Fx equals to 0 negative PBC plus 4 kN plus 2 kN equals to 0 and PBC equals to 6 kN. The positive signs of PBC represents that PBC is in tension. Next, we move on section AB. We draw a free body diagram of sections AB. Put the external load at point D is 2 kN. External load at point C is 4 kN. And the external load at point B is 9 kN. And then we draw the internal load at the cutting point and put as PAB. The assumption of internal load always in tension. And then we apply static equilibrium equation summation of Fx equals to 0. Negative PAB minus 9 kN plus 4 kN plus 2 kN equals to 0. And PAB equals to negative 3 kN. The negative value of PAB represents PAB is in compression. Next, we calculate the area of each section to find its diameter. We start from section AB. We know that sigma AB equals to PAB over AAB. We rearrange the equation AAB equals to PAB over sigma AB. Then we substitute the value of PAB and sigma AB 3 kN over 90 megapascal. So this is equals to 33.33 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meters squared. We ignore the negative sign of AB because we want to calculate the area. And then we know that AAB equals to pi DAB square over 4. And then we rearrange the equations. So DAB equals to square root 4 AAB over pi. We substitute the values square root 
4 times 33.33 times 10 to the power of negative 6 over pi. Then we get the diameter of DAB equals to 6.51 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters. This is equals to 6.51 millimeters. For section BC, we repeat the same step. Sigma BC equals to PBC over ABC. We rearrange the equation. ABC equals to PBC over Sigma BC. And then we substitute the values. 6 kN over 80 megapascals equals to 75 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meter square. And then we know that ABC equals to pi dBC square over 4. So dBC equals to square root 4 ABC over pi. And then we substitute the values. And we get dBC equals to 9.77 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters. This is equals to 9.77 millimeters. And then for section CD. Sigma CD equals to PCD over ACD. And then ACD equals to PCD over Sigma CD. We substitute the values 2 kilonewton over 130 megapascal. And we get the value of ACD equals to 15.38 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meters square. And then ACD equals to pi DCD square over 4. So DCD equals to square root 4 ACD over pi. We substitute the values square root 4 times 15.38 times 10 to the power of negative 6 over pi. And then we get DCD equals to 4.43 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters. This is equals to 4.43 millimeters. Next, we move on the second question, which is to find the displacement of the CB. So, displacement of CB. is delta CB. So delta CB equals to delta BC equals to PL over AE for section BC. We substitute the values. Uh, PBC equals to 6 kN LBC equals to 1.5 meters and ABC equals to 75 times 10 to the power of negative 6 
and EBC equals to 110 gigapascal. So delta BC equals to 1.09 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters. This is equals to 1.09 millimeters. Next, we move on the final question, which is to determine the displacement of the D with respect to A. So displacement of D with respect to A. So this is represented by delta AD. So delta AD equals to delta AB plus delta BC plus delta CD. Since we already calculate the delta BC, now we have to calculate the delta AB and delta CD. So delta AB equals to PL over AE for section AB. We substitute the values. Noted that when to calculate the value of delta, we have to consider the negative sign of internal force. So the internal force of AB equals to negative 3 kN. LAB equals to 1 meter. And then AAB equals to 33.33 times 10 to the power of negative 6. And then EAB equals to 70 gigapascal. So we get the value of delta AB equals to negative 1.29 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters. This is equals to negative 1.29 millimeters. Next, delta CD equals to PL over AE for section CD. So we substitute the values. PCD equals to 2 kN. LCD equals to 1.25 meters. ACD equals to 15.38 times 10 to the power of negative 6. And ECD equals to 200 gigapascal. So we get the value of delta CD equals to 812.74 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meters. So this is equals to 0 0.813 millimeters. And then finally, we calculate the delta AD, which is delta AB plus delta BC plus delta CD. So negative 1.29 plus 1.09 plus 0 0.813 so delta AD equals to 0 0.613 millimeters that's all for this session thank you